right, just have a look. What is this month's vlog called? Hello and welcome back. This month's collaboration vlog is three top meals you can have in your caravan or motorhome. Please take time to watch the other uh, vlogs within this collaboration. I'll put a link at the end of the video and there'll be a link down in the description to all the other vloggers that you can see uh, within the collaboration. I had to really think about this one because when we go away, um, we do cook uh, in, the, in the caravan when we're away, but we go out for meals uh, quite a bit and we probably um, do our turn at nights where we stay in one night and cook and then we'll go out the next night. We try to change that and improve on that, but obviously since lockdown we've not been away so we've not done that and we're wanting to cook more of the things in the caravan um, that we do when we are at home, the things that we enjoy, which we, we don't tend to do when we're away. So in a sense, I've not done uh, three different meals. It's kind of what we like to eat while we're in our caravan. Now, while we're away, our Kadak plays a big part of our cooking. And I would say 95% of our meals are cooked on the Kadak. We don't often use the oven or the, the, uh, the hob in our caravan. Um, we, we tend not to cook a great deal inside. So the majority of our meals are done on the Kadak. Now, we do lots of different meals on the Kadak. Uh, our favourite one to do is uh, kind of like a barbecue with chicken and um, some chicken skewers and um, pork, beef. Uh, we like to cook some burgers on there and um, we cook steak on there, which is a really nice meal. But when we do the steak, we tend to use uh, do some veg, which we will use the hob for that one just to cook the veg off. And there's some great meals that you can do on the cutout, but we kind of need to explore that a little bit more in terms of trying to cook some different things. I know some people have done a, a full Sunday roast on a Kadak and that's something that I'd like to look at doing in the future. So in terms of evening meals, yeah, we do a lot of a lot of cooking on the Kadak, a, a lot of barbecuing. Uh, do people call it barbecuing because it's on gas? Well, it, it is in a sense. So that's where the majority of our meals are done. And like I say, we do, we do a whole host of meals on there. So another meal we like to do in our Kadak is breakfast. Now we don't uh, tend to have a cup breakfast every morning. Some mornings we might just have some toast or a bit of cereal, but uh, we do like a good fry up. And on there we like a, you know some eggs, some um, bacon, sausages, mushrooms, beans, and we do actually put it all onto the Kadak at the same time. We've got those um, tapas dishes that you can get from the Kadak range. And we um, use them sometimes if we're doing a cup breakfast and we want to put some beans separately or we can do eggs in those or you can put you know various other bits and bobs of food in there just to separate it. But yeah, the Kadak's great for doing a cup breakfast and that's another meal that we like to have. We've also done pancakes on the, on the Kadak. We can do mini pancakes or big pancakes. Molly loves to do those. Sometimes we'll have them for breakfast or sometimes we'll have them as a savoury with a bit of banana or fruit, um, you know, a bit of cream on top as well. And so that's quite nice to do pancakes on there. One of the other meals that we do have and we do take with us every time we go away is a curry, but it's a different kind of curry. A few years ago, I went to the Belgium Grand Prix with a friend of mine, uh, John, and we went for three, four nights and we stayed in the site near the, the uh, Spa Grand Prix and we wanted some food that was quite easy to cook. So we, we went for tins, we could just cook it on a, on a gas stove. And I was introduced to this curry in a tin. Um, other makes are available. This one is from Asda. Uh, this is a Karma. You can get different Tika ones and stuff like that. And um, we, we were sat there and he, he opened this and, uh, and I looked at it and I thought, oh, this is a revelation. This, this is so easy to cook. So we, from then on, we, I came home from that holiday and I said to Angela, I said, oh, while we're away in Belgium, we had this, this curry. And uh, I said, we should get it for the caravan because it'd be dead easy to cook. And we've been out all day, we want something good. Um, so we bought it for the caravan. And we always take a few tins of that away with us so we can cook that on the Kadak. Uh, we just put it on the flat dish and then we get some rice boiling in the caravan and we've got a nice curry and we we'll get some naan breads and put them in the oven. It has now changed its name. It's uh, called caravan curry, which we call it, and it's just the curry in a tin. It's so easy to prepare and doesn't take long at all. So there you go, that's uh, three meals, uh, kind of, that we like to eat within our caravan. We do need to do a little bit more cooking and experiment a little bit more, which hopefully we're going to do this year. 
um, in terms of using the oven, which we very rarely use in our caravan. So if you've got any ideas of meals that you like to cook in your caravan, please put them in the comments below because again, like I said, we're gonna try and experiment and uh, cook some different things. It's all good that, you know, that we, we do go out, uh, we do go out quite a lot when we, uh, when we go away in the caravan, we do eat out quite a lot. But I think, um, you know, nowadays with COVID and that and going into pubs and, and restaurants and stuff, that you know, that, that doesn't happen as much. So if we can uh, get some meals that we can cook in the caravan, that'd be great. So yeah, please do put them in the comments below. Please take time to watch all the other videos within the collaboration. I'll put a link above at the end and the, I say the, the description will be down, down below. Uh, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel grow. Uh, tick the uh, bell icon or whatever that does and um, yeah do leave a comment so thanks for watching take care and we'll see you very soon bye bye